I'm at the beginning of uh, the Swatberg Pass, so um, I'm looking forward. I'm on the gravel road now. I'm looking forward to going over. I decided to ride with my bike over the Swatberg Mountains. Uh, it was really a fun experience. The Swartberg Pass is on the road R328. It goes over the Swartberg mountain range, which means Black Mountain in English. This mountain range runs east to west along the edge of a dry area called the Little Karua in the Western Cape, South Africa. If you want to get to Hamkras Kloof, this is the only road that will take you there. Here's a little bit of history about the Swartberg Pass. The Swartberg Pass was supposed to be built by this guy named Jan Tassis, who had 100 workers from Mozambique. But after 13 months, he went broke and only finished 6 kilometers off the road. So, from 1883 to 1888, another guy named Thomas Bain, who was the son of the famous Andrew Geddes Bain, the guy who built Bain's Kloof Pass, took over and finished it. They had built another pass in 1858 called Meirungspoor through the same mountains but further east. I will later talk about my experience through Meirungspoort. Look at that view. Oh, yeah, on top of the mountain, I'm r literally shivering, uh, but uh, there's still a, a little bit I have to go up. The pass was built using prisoners as workers and officially opened on January 10th, 1888. The old stone walls they made to support the road's sharp turns are still standing today and are over 130 years old. Um, a little bit of geography of the mountain. To the north of the Swartberg Mountains is another big dry area called the Great Karua. A lot of the Swartberg area is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The pass goes between Otsuwaren in the south and Prince Albert in the north. It's not paved and can be slippery and dangerous after rain, but the views are awesome. You can see the Little Karua to the south and the Great Karua to the north. There are also hundreds of different plant species along the pass, which is super cool.
The geology of Swatback Mountains are some of the best examples of fold mountain chains in the world. And the pass goes right through these amazing rock formations. The rocks are twisted into shapes called anticlines and synclines. And the colors of the quartzite rocks are really cool. The pass is famous for its unusual geology at the northern end. Here you can see that stone walls. It is actually magnificent to see them. And think, they are so old and they are standing there since 1888. 130 years. In the olden days, they definitely built better stuff than today. You can see these 700 meter high quartzite cliffs that are often tilted at crazy angles, sometimes even more than 90 degrees. The most famous cliff face called the Wall of Fire and it looks spectacular. It was absolutely a great day riding over the Swartberg mountain. And nobody will be disappointed riding over this pass seeing the absolute wonderful views. This is a great day out for exploration. See you and have a great journey.